Vectrin performs the following task with single command. It, can, it creates a VM using the base images. I will come to base images in next slide. Vectrin configures the virtual machine specific setting and configuration using the Vectrin file. Automates the configuration management of virtual machine using the configuration management software. I will uh, discuss workflow. With workflow understanding, you will get automatically how Vagrant work. So this is our Vagrant machine, for example. It is pointing to Vagrant file. Vagrant file is file basically which got all the configuration. And that Vagrant file controls provider. Provider can be VMware, Amazon EC2, VirtualBox or OpenStack. And it also works with Provisioner. Provisioner is basically your configuration management software that can be Ansible, Ship, Puppet. So whatever the software you have defined to use. Next thing, we have to understand the Vagrant terminology. This is very important. So what is Vagrant Box? A box is a packaged Vagrant environment, typically a virtual machine. Uh, basically it is uh, a pre-baked uh, operating system image in the Vagrant format uh, and uh, it got operating system installed and pre-configured. Many times box is also referred as base image. So if someone says base image for Vagrant or someone says box, both are interrelated terms. Provider, as I mentioned in last slide, providers is basically the software which provides virtualization support. And there are two types of providers. One is local, one is remote. In local, VirtualBox, VMware, Docker, Hyper-V, which basically you install on your machine for locally managed uh, virtualization stack. The other provider is remote, which is uh, Amazon Cloud OpenStack or Google Cloud. So these are remote providers. Vagrant file. As I mentioned, Vagrant file is the heart. Basically, all the configuration is saved in Vagrant file. So what kind of configuration is saved in uh, Vagrant file? That is, which base image or which box to be used? What will be the host name of target machine? Which particular network to be used? Any specific compute requirement? When I say compute requirement, requirement it means uh, if you want to define your virtual machine with the uh, some particular amount of CPU power, let's say one CPU, two CPUs, or uh, some particular amount of RAM, one GB, two GB, three GB, as per your requirement. So you can control uh, the compute in the vectorant file. And uh, provisional config. So these are the settings which are defined in vectorant file. That's the reason if you go to vectorant file, you can create many instances or many machines with same configuration because Vagrant will read a Vagrant file while creating the virtual machine or you can say virtual instance. So if your file, same file is used, your config is going to be same for target environment. Next thing, Provisioner. As I mentioned in last slide, Provisioner is basically an automation tool or configuration management tool. It can be a shell script also because uh, there are two types of provisioner one is called uh, shell script or shell provisioner one is automation tool provisioner in shell provisioner basically you use shell commands to do the configuration for you for example you can see on my screen on left hand side so this is a way shell provisioner is defined here i'm running user add command i'm running yum command inside inside the virtual machine then i'm starting the service this is the way like you use shell provisioner and uh, you can call a script uh, if you got using shell provisioner with the automation tool provisioner uh, for example ansible you can call ansible playbook to run or execute it on the machine on the target machine basically so that's example of provisioner